Today we're going to be making these cards which are super shiny using the silver glimmer paper. Let's see if we can see some shimmer on that there. And the chevron embossing folder and some framelits. I've seen love spelt this way on a lot of products at the moment in the stores. And so I always like to look at what's currently trending and try and create a card around that. So that's why we're spelling love L-O-V-E this way. But I also like it in the traditional format as well. And I love these colours. We have elegant eggplant with a silver glimmer paper. We have real red, black and silver glimmer paper. And I'm going to also try a couple of new colour combinations with the cards that I show you. I'm going to use Daffodil Delight and Strawberry Slush. And I've cut them long ways. So if that's an A4 sheet of paper, you can see I've cut them in half down the middle. I'm just going to fold these and get a nice crease with my bone folder. And I'm going to pop that into the embossing folder. Take your chevron embossing folder or something with a nice graphic design on it. A striped folder would look, work really well with this too. And then just to make sure that you get the embossing lined right up on the edge of your card, you want to push it in a little bit, if you can see there, so that it lines up with where the edge of the pattern ends. And just make sure it's straight, and then you're going to run it through your big shot. Now I've run both front covers through, both the Daffodil Delight and the Strawberry Slush. And I'm going to use the Typeset Alphabet Bigs die. Now you get four massive dies with this big die. You can see there's pieces where I've cut out already. One has all the letters of the alphabet and the other one has all the numbers 1 to 10 and the and symbol. And I've just put this here to show you. You want to make sure when you're using the silver glimmer paper that you put the silver side down, otherwise your letter will come out backwards. So make sure you put your silver down like that. You just need to cut a piece about the size of each letter. You don't want to put a whole sheet on here or the whole thing will cut. The other thing you need to know when you're using these dies is that you don't need the multi-purpose platform. You can actually take that away. This becomes your platform and you make your sandwich with your two acrylic plates, one on the bottom and one on the top. And you run it through just like that. This is a great die. I use this a lot. You can spell out people's names with it. You can have Joy or Noel or Mary so it's got a lot of uses and I love it. So the first one I'm going to do is the yellow and black, which I think is a really trending colour at the moment. Yellow and black, a very vivid yellow and black is really, look how great that looks, isn't it good? And this one will just have the love straight across. Another quick tip for you, this is from the Framelits Labels collection and it has six nesting dies in it. This is a magnetic photo frame that I got from my Hot Dollar store. You can see that that's meant to take a photograph and it fits inside the pouch perfectly. So I, I buy these whenever I can for my framelits. If you put the cutting edge facing upwards, how they just store perfectly flat and they don't move around at all and you can just slide them in and out. So we're going to be using it's the third largest size. Now you're going to cut that out with basic black in the big shot. And to adhere the letters, I'm just going to use Tombow Multi. The other thing you could do is use double-sided tape or which you pop onto your sheet before you run it through. And that's a faster method and you don't get the mess of sticky fingers and glue. And line it up on your grid paper so that it's level to begin with. You can see how using your grid paper really helps get everything nice and straight. I love that colour combination. I think that's absolutely trending and great. I love it. When you're lining up with the letters running horizontally, it's the same process. And I've run one of the letters through with some of our double-sided paper on it just to show you how that works as well. Now you could bounce the letters if you don't particularly want to line them up. That is still going to look fine. But I'm going to try and get them, well, I'm going to get them exactly straight by using my ruler again and my grid paper. So line it up roughly how you want it to be. Make sure the two end pieces are the same distance apart and they're the two that we're going to adhere first. So I'll start with the L. Now I'm going to do the E. So that E and the L are about the same distance from the edge. And now I can play around with these and put these wherever I think they're going to look best. So you're just going to peel that off. You won't need any glue for this, but you do need to be fairly sure where you're going to lay that down because you won't get a second chance at it. It'll stick quite firmly. It looks pretty. I really like that colour combination too. So here are the cards.
I hope you enjoyed that video and if you would like to get discount on all your stamping supplies, why not join my team? Just hop on over to aussiestampers.stampinup.net and click on join the fun. I'd love to have you as part of my team. Remember during celebration you will get an extra $20 worth of product in your starter kit, so now is the perfect time to join. Thanks for watching.